Hello everyone and welcome back to One Mom to Another and it's Vanessa and it's Friday so today's topic of the day is going to be um, how to clean your children's toys and I'm actually going to be showing four different ways that you can clean your children's toys just because there's a, a different range of toys from stuffed animals to electronic toys that have batteries in them and stuff that you can submerge underwater so yeah guys okay so one of the first things you want to do is you want to sort your toys you want to make sure that you take out your electronic toys battery operated toys your plush soft toys and then toys that can be submerged. I have three three piles here. And the second thing that you want to do is you want to sort of clear out a space where an area where you can do what you need to do. <laughs> Clean your toys. So, here I've sorted some not this one but these this one is an electronic toy. This one is too. This also is. This lights up. Um, so yeah. So I have these over here. And I cleaned my kitchen countertop. Because I do not have a lot of counter space. As you can see. I sort of put everything over there to the side right now. And. So yeah. The second thing you want to have is something to clean your toys with. And I have two reusable cloths. These are new just because I don't want to I don't want to clean with something that I've been using for the kitchen or anywhere else because germs can harvest them for a long time and it's not, you know, these things just like sponges and stuff like that this is a new sponge just because I don't want to use my regular kitchen sponge because I don't usually your kitchen sponge does have a, a, a lot amount of bacteria in it and you don't want to spread that on your children's toys so I have two new uh, two new reusable cloths and one new sponge and then I have a little brush just in case so you need uh, to get any nooks and crannies on anything and then I have two the two product two cleaning products I'm going to use is um, Dawn dishwashing dishwashing liquid detergent and the second is vinegar and what I've done here is I've made my own cleaning solution um, and it's one part vinegar, one part water. And I have some clean microfiber towels that I'm going to be using to spread out my toys on. So I've laid out two microfiber towels. I filled up my sink with water. And I did wash my sink prior to this. And also the drain, just because I don't want any germs that may be harbored, harboring in my drain getting on the toys because that would totally defeat the purpose. So I'm going to take a little bit of my Dawn and put it in there. I would say about half a tablespoon. You don't want too much because then you're going to get have issues with uh, rinsing it off. I'm gonna add some vinegar to that and that's because vinegar is a good um, disinfectant okay so now I'm gonna submerge these toys that I've selected to be safe to be submerged in water just random items, not everything that he has, of course, because then it would be just too much to do at one. It wouldn't fit in the sink. I would have to do it in the bathtub. 
This actually lights up. Okay. And then we have these cups. So you just want to take the sponge and you could, if they're really dirty, you could sponge clean them. If they're not really dirty, just the rinse is good enough. You could just let them sit in there for about 15 minutes. If you could get your brush, if you see, I don't know, sometimes things have like crevices and make harbor dirt, you could just scrub that off. This is a teething toy. Car that's been on the floor a lot. Even though everything has been on the floor actually. But like I said, if it's not really dirty, just let it sit in there for like 15 minutes. Okay, so 15 minutes has passed. I'm gonna release that drain. have been rinsed off. I'm going to shake them out and put them on my towel. Mama. And that's uh, Mama. my helper over there. So yeah guys, option two is you get your equal parts vinegar and water. You spray it on a reusable cloth. And you just wipe down whatever item you feel that you don't want to submerge. Or to be honest, this is the easiest method. It would be my choice. So just wipe them down. And just let them dry and that'll kill all the germs on, on your toys. So, yeah. So that was a take on plastic toys, toys that... You can submerge in water or you can wipe down with a cloth. Now, there are some toys that you cannot do that to. So this is going to be option three. And option three is not really, it's more to just kill the dust mites on your toys. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to get a plastic Ziploc bag. You're going to put your toys in the Ziploc bag. I know it's really weird, right? Then you're going to take these. Bear with me. And you're going to put them into your freezer. I know, weird. Okay. So, yeah. So you're going to want to leave them in, in your freezer for three to five hours just to kill anything on it. And that's option three. All right, guys. So I'm going to load my fluffy stuff into my fluffy toys into the washing machine. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of it's washing soda with baking soda mix of equal parts I'm going to start that I'm going to put it on delicate mm So the load is finished and I'm going to put these in the dryer. 
So I'm going to put these to dry for the exception of this because of the hard things on it. So yeah. I'm just going to put it on normal dry. So here's the finished product. Nice, clean, and fluffy. Even the white one. Even the older bear. So yeah. <laughs> Oops, we have Mr. Rat over here. So yeah guys, now that all my toys are clean, I just wanted to say that I do not profess or claim in any way that this is the right way <laughs> to clean um, my toys. This is just my choice. And something that I wanted to share with you guys and I mean most importantly my favorite way is to wash um, soft toys in the washing machine and dry them in the dryer and just spray them down with um, spray, wipe them down with my vinegar solution and let them dry off just because vinegar is non-toxic it doesn't leave any residue um, it also kills 99% of bacteria yes vinegar kills 99% of bacteria it kills 82% of mold and 80% of germs and or viruses so I would recommend cleaning your toys once a month unless of course your child you know makes a mess and gets food all over it or poo you know it could happen or vomits you know then I would clean it you know right away or if your child is sick if your child is sick and had a cold or anything that was related to something that you know that they that is catching your child can reinfect themselves again so I would suggest cleaning toys definitely after your child has a bout of illness so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next Friday. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.